All right, so today we are here at the MLB Youth Academy in New Orleans with Coach Eddie Davis. Now, Coach Eddie, you work with so many young athletes in coaching them to be better ball players, and you also use your influence to teach them to build character. One example is the national championship winner, Trey Morgan. Can you talk about how you influenced him as a baseball player in New Orleans? Absolutely. Well, Trey uh, actually had, before the academy opened, um, he was on, uh, I think, my uh, five, six-year-old team with, with my son at Milne Playground. So it started at Milne with Trey. When Trey came uh, with his dad, he was a, you know pretty much a polished kid. But at age, he was already polished. And when you have a left-handed uh, you know, pitcher, left-handed mm -hmm. hitter, you know, really is pitcher, first base, or outfield. And when I saw Trey catch the ball, like, even at an early age, I was like, oh, man, we got a first baseman that can catch. So that kind of really changed the whole, uh, you know, development for that team because now I had a first baseman that can catch the ball with somebody throwing. So I started teaching more advanced skills even for that, you know, for kids at that age. So now instead of, you know, at that age, you typically would run and, right. and tag the run out. Mm -hmm. But now I had people that could throw it and I had a first baseman that can catch. So now I started really teaching them at that age to throw the ball across the diamond and throw people out. So working on cuts and relays. So that really, you know, advanced the whole team at that age. And, and as you can see, a lot of kids from that team uh, moved on to play in college and also, you know, currently in pro ball. Kenya Huggins is currently was a fourth rounder for the Reds on that team. Trey is about to get drafted this weekend. Uh, so special group. But I started with having that, that guy that could catch the ball at first. So yesterday was a really big day for the Youth Academy. Can you tell us what happened and how it affects the future expectations of the Youth Academy? Right. Well, for those that don't know, we do have the All-Star Commissioner's Cup is an event that's uh, conducted during All-Star that allows academy teams from across the country, as well as other travel teams to participate. And you, you know, play for a championship, right? Play for, for the trophy to say you winner of the Commissioner's Cup. So yesterday, you know, it was the first day of games. Our boys won. Um, our girls won two games. Uh, we also had Academy member Kyle Walker playing in a Swingman Classic, which is a new event uh, to highlight HBCU uh, baseball athletes as an all-star game. Um, so Ken Griffith Jr. is actually uh, spearheading that. So we have a participant in that event. And also our 12U girls won uh, the New Orleans Recreational Department uh, League here in New Orleans. Um, and on top of that, we do have players that were selected to uh, breakthrough series uh, called The Program, which is an event in Florida where they invite elite kids from across the country to stay four weeks at Jackie Robinson Complex, and they go and participate in different high-level tournaments. So we had Bryce Robinson hit a walk-off game when it hit yesterday as well. So it was an exciting day for the New Orleans Academy all across the country. In New Orleans, people take a lot of pride in their high schools. How did your high school, McDonald 35, affect your mindset throughout your coaching career? Well, actually, it affected me playing career and coaching career. Uh, McDonough 35 is a historic uh, high school, as we all know. Um, but Coach Pierce, who was my coach at the time, really laid the foundation for all of us uh, at McDonough 35 for his baseball. Um, he was a phenomenal coach, uh, taught me a lot about the game, but more importantly, taught me a lot about how to handle myself off the field as well. And that really laid the foundation on for me to go on and play in college uh, and eventually in pro ball, but also give back that knowledge uh, to the kids now. So, uh, yes, McDonough 35, you know, we had great programs uh, during those years, you know, from, from 87, 88 to, to 92. And Coach Pierce was a big, big part of that. If there is one thing you could say to every aspiring athlete or baseball player in the world, what would your message be? Yeah, just hard work and, and don't give up and trust the process. You know, sayings that most kids heard before, but it's true. Um, it's the little things. It's the small wins. Uh, don't focus on the big win. Just try to get those daily small wins, and that might be in a work in a gym. You know, that might be in the weight room. That might be on the field. That might be hitting, you know, 10 balls back up the middle. That might be taking a whole round of uh, ground balls without uh, getting an error. You know, so those small wins add up to big wins and just trust the process and don't give up. Um, you know, baseball is a long process, um, but enjoy it. Uh, enjoy the network and, um, you know, you'll get some benefit from it. All right. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you.